Hello, everybody, and welcome to the PAECT pod. Uh, different show tonight. My co host, well, actually, the host, I'm the co host. Co host, or the host, Eric Verno, could not make it tonight, so I am flying solo. I am your host for the evening, Dom Salvucci, the usual sidekick slash co host. We're going to jump right into things and give you a little review of. Last week's Tech the Halls event for PAECT. So, last Thursday, when we normally have our show, third Thursday of the month, we had a t- virtual Tech the Halls event going on for PACT. So members across the state, across the country, and from around the world were invited to a virtual Tech the Halls event. Uh, it was a good time. We had a number of members from around the area, around uh, the various different states come in. And we kind of hung out and shared some tech tips going on, some things in the classroom, uh, tools to use, how to use them. We worked with them. We had some contests. It was got pretty competitive. It was a good event overall and i'm going to remind you guys please check please check paect.org for upcoming events because we do run a lot of things um i thought we could check us out on twitter uh, both at paact and at keystones pa we have information there that goes on all the time check our twitter feed check our paact homepage for events going on virtually and in person around the state. Um, a lot of good events. This event was posted on the website, and it was a pretty good time. Um, so there's not going to be any guests tonight, but I am going to jump into some of the things we did. We had a virtual hands-on uh, with different tech tools. A lot of good ideas were shared and uh, ideas. We got to play with the, the tools and see how we could use them in the classroom. And uh, some of the things we did. Some basic trivia with Google uh, Google Forms. Put that out there and set up how to, they set up a general um, generic form so you can pop it in a moment's notice. Something comes up, there's uh, something that goes on at school, something goes on at home. Your lesson plans kind of blow up. Pull these tools out of your toolbox, push them out to the class so you don't lose a day. Um, and the Google Form. Trivia was a great tool. I uh, played some co- competition with that. And we had some winners throughout the events, different people doing different things. It was a neat way of uh, doing that. We rolled out Jamboard, which is a great tool for collaboration. Both Google Forms and Jamboard are free, which makes it even better. Uh, did some cooperation with the Jamboard people, writing on different boards, getting used to it. I use that in my classroom. You can pop it up on the big board, if you're an interactive whiteboard or projector in your room, push that out. Kids can work on it on their computers if you're one-to-one. It's a free tool. If you do have a domain, um, your school district has a domain, please make sure that they open it up because that is something, if you have a private domain, has to be approved by the admin for use in your domain. We got into a Look It competition. That got super competitive. That was probably my personal favorite of the night. Uh, Look It is free. And it is kind of a combination, like a quizzes live, a Kahoot, um, a quiz show format. Super competitive. You could swap points with people. It adjusts so a uh, little, I guess, go behind the scenes. Since I was one of the people that helped set up the competition for the book it i had kind of laid back and i wasn't answering questions so my power-ups whenever i would try and jump in were higher than some of the people who were not involved with setting up the book it uh, trivia and they were zipping through so their power-ups were smaller so it adapts to students in the classroom if they're having issues not getting questions right they can still get back into the game where sometimes if you're playing with um, some of the standard review games once a student falls behind they lose interest because they can never catch up Look at allows the power ups to change and adapt the scores. And there's also some sneaky features such as uh, trading scores with people if you get the question right, or 
subtracting points off people or spamming their screen so they can't see if you get the questions right. So I'm looking forward to rolling that out to my students. I was telling them about it. And uh, some of my ultra competitive students, they were on the fence. Like they were cool and they really wanted to use it against fellow students, but they're afraid of people using it against them. So it's something I'm going to try and roll out after winter break and see how that goes. Um, we also followed up with a Padlet and pushed out some ideas on how to use Padlet in the classroom. Very, um, about an hour, hour and a half, professional development, some socialization, good to get in touch with people I haven't talked to in a while from around the state. We ran it through Zoom, and uh, it was pretty much uh, a, a good night, and that's why we're broadcasting tonight, because it was going on during our broadcast, and we were participating in that instead of this. And unfortunately, like I said, uh, Eric couldn't make it tonight. This isn't a rogue broadcast, although I've thought about doing that, but uh, we'll just keep that between us because, you know, board hears about that, I might lose my uh, co-hosting, or they'll put a, a secret password down so I have to get permission to get on. So we did also have a prize patrol uh, show showing, for those of you that are Keystones or have been to different conferences uh, the PACT puts on and um, events PACT puts on, we have the prize patrol and attendees were chosen. They got some gift cards, virtual gift cards for attending. We're picking names um, randomly and it was a good time. We do try and give you guys what we can. Since we're virtual, we couldn't hand out the uh, normal tchotchkes and bling and things of that nature. But prize patrol, we do come around to the events and we try and give you guys some added value besides the professional development, besides the socialization, give some things you can use. In this case, it was gift cards. Like I said, we're trying to make the most out of this crazy situation we've been in for, oh, almost two years now. But, uh, you know, keep checking PACT because we do have some more events coming up and they're on the website, PACT.org. Also, we did drop some big news. Um, if you're going to Pete and C, or if you're in the area of Pete and C, there will be a Keystone, uh, a, pre a Keystone's pre-conference event at Pete and C this February. It'll be Sunday, February 6th from 12.30 to 2 p.m. So check that out. Um, you don't have to be registered for Pete to go to that. That will be um, open to all PAACT members and Keystone's. Check out PAECT.org or um, at Keystone's PA and at PAECT on Twitter. And there's information that we've pushed out through Twitter and check the website. As always, check the website. I was going to um, do a little bit of work here um, for tech tips, but Eric's not here and it is going into the holiday break. I think people are kind of teched out. So I'm going to hold off on my tech tip. I'm going to save that for next month. But I do appreciate everyone who is watching this or will be listening to the podcast once we pull this down, edit, and send out the audio. A little rough tonight, a little nervous on my end. Um, I run my own podcast, but this is the first time I've flown solo on someone else's. So I'm a little uh, more concerned about how I come across. But I just wanted to cover the Tech the Halls event. They're always good events. Please check out, and I can't say this enough, and I know I've been repeating myself a lot, P-A-E-C-T dot org for events coming up online and in your area. So with that, I want to say I'd really, really, really like to thank our sponsors, the corporate members. And they'll be scrolling across the bottom there. Um, corporate council members. Classlink, Trox, Linkit, EduSpire, and we have the gold sponsors, Sam Labs and Padcaster. We appreciate everything you guys do for us, and uh, those guys and girls make everything possible for PACT. So before we go on, I do want to push out. Thank you to our sponsors.
So that's a big thank you out to our corporate sponsors and our gold members. And usually when we leave this, um, you know, Eric has some words of wisdom. All I want to say is uh, winter break's coming up for everybody. No matter what holiday you celebrate or holidays you don't celebrate, please, I hope you and your family, loved ones, friends, um, have a great winter break, holiday break, and use this time to recharge, reconnect, kind of clear your head, and we come back strong for the students coming into January. So that's pretty much that. Thank you for hanging out with me. It was a brief show. A little bit choppy, a little bit nervous. Thank you for letting me host. And uh, we will see you next week. Remember the third Thursday of the month, 7 p.m. Check out PACT.org for more details. I can't keep um, you know, pushing out that website enough. Please go there. We have the weekly emails that go out, the news blasts. Check your email. If you're not getting emails and you hear this broadcast, please reach out to one of your, um, to your regional director. Let us know and we will get in touch with the uh, corresponding secretaries and see what's going on with that. PAECT, we are the voice of EdTech in PA and beyond. Have a good night, everybody. Have a great holiday and I'll see you next year.